Hi, it's Linda at the HCP, and today we're going to talk about taking a soil sample and getting a soil analysis done. It's very important to do this in your garden, especially if you have new soil that's been brought in. That way you'll know exactly which nutrients you have to add. So what you do is you scrape away the top few inches of soil, and you dig down about six to eight inches into the soil and just put it all in a bucket. You want to take about 10 random samples throughout your garden. Then you're going to mix all those 10 samples together in the bucket. Put that in a little Ziploc bag and take it off to your local horticultural agent or agricultural agency. Here in Victoria, there's a place on Keating Crossroad called Integrity and they'll do the soil sample for you. It's important when you do take the sample, don't take any rocks or weeds in with the mixture. So make sure you get that and take it off. You only have to do this every four or five years and that way you'll know exactly which nutrients you're lacking. We had this soil tested last year. It was new topsoil we brought in and it was very low in nitrogen. And I'll just show you an example. What you get back is you get a, a, a form like this back and it tells you exactly the amount of nutrients you have in your soil and what you're lacking. Here I had quite high content of organic matter, phosphorus, and potash, but I was lacking nitrogen. So where I wanted to be, you know, all organic, I ended up using blood meal, 17 pounds per 1,000 square feet. So again, this is well worth it to me to get this done. That way you'll know exactly what your pH is and your soil fertility.